Artificial intelligence is everywhere. AI is taking over jobs, right? And do you feel you are back in this AI race? You have not started learning AI. Then this is the right time to start learning because companies are able to produce more efficient and perfect output with lesser workforce, lesser AI equipped workforce. The future is going to be AI led companies where there'll be less number of people, more revenue per employee, but they'll be equipped with AI. So let's say a company who is like making 1 million revenue with like a 50 people team can do the same with maybe a 10 people team with the help of AI. So obviously people who know AI will replace you. And even today people are doing that. AI is replacing a lot of jobs, right? So if you want to learn about AI step by step, I've created a roadmap where you can learn from the basics of AI to generative AI and LLM all for free from the best experts from like Google, Microsoft and OpenAI for free. So let's get into them. So I've broken the learning roadmap of free resources and courses into three parts. So first is where you learn about basics of AI, like what is AI, what is machine learning, the basic terminologies. Second is where you learn about basics of generative AI. What is generative AI? What is LLM, which powers the generative AI or the large language model, the fundamentals of it. And next you learn about the applications of generative AI, like AI agents, wipe coding and much more. Right? So let's get into the video. So the first course in the list is elements of AI free online course. And you can take the courses in the same order in which I'm telling. So it has two parts. One is introduction to AI and building AI. Introduction to AI teaches about more basic concepts like uh, what is AI, right? What is machine learning? What is AI problem solving? What is real world AI? More basic concepts. What is neural networks and what are future implications? And building AI teaches more on the use cases of AI, getting started with AI, how to deal with uncertainty in AI, right? How does, what are the different machine learning algorithms? What are the different neural network algorithms and much more. The next in the list is AI for everyone by Andrew NG and deep learning AI. This is one of the non-technical course. Even if you're someone who don't know about technology, who are very new to this space, you can learn about AI. So it's, it's written, right? AI for everyone. Here they teach about what is machine learning, what is data, the terminology of AI, what makes an AI company, building AI projects. They also show you a case study, right, of uh, like a smart speaker and AI and society. They tell like applications of AI in the society and how AI can be used in developing nations, how AI and jobs and much. The next in the list is AI artificial intelligence for beginner by Microsoft. So this is a mind map based course. So if you see this mind map, you'll see like it tells about all the concepts like introduction to AI. And if you click on each concepts, you can learn about it in detail. So for example, I click on introduction to AI. It's like a textual module. It, it has a great visual mind map, which will help you to understand what does this course teach about. They teach about all the basic concepts of AI. The next course is Generative AI for Everyone by Deep Learning AI and Andrew NG. So this is a very structured course. So it teaches about first, it starts with introduction to generative AI. What is generative AI? How generative AI works? And what are the different applications of generative AI? Like writing, reading and chatting. And week two, they cover about Gen AI projects. So how you can use Gen AI in software applications, how you can use Gen AI to code right? and how does the life cycle of a Gen AI project would look like. And then they cover about advanced technologies like what is RAG, fine tuning, pre-training or LLM and much more. And next they talk about Gen AI in work and life, right? How we can use Gen AI in our day to day life, right? How we can use it for task analysis, how we can use in automating new workflows, teams to build a generative AI, right? How Gen AI can automate different sectors and different processes in the business. So it's a very detailed course and very structured course. The next in the list is Google's AI course, which has four parts. So AI essentials, prompt essentials, grow your business with AI and generative AI for educators. So once you've completed and has got good understanding about generative AI, you can use this Google's course as a refresher to learn more about generative. The next course is chat GPT for everyone by learn prompting. So this is a course taught by founder and CEO of learn prompting as well as somebody who has worked as an applied AI engineer at OpenAI. 
So this is a very basic course where it teaches about what is ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a LLM model, getting started, ChatGPT use cases, basics of prompting. So it will help you how you can work with like a ChatGPT to start. The next in the list is understanding more about this LLM. How does this LLM work? So Andridge, who has worked at OpenAI, right? he was one of the founding member at OpenAI and then he has also worked with GPT-4. He teaches about deep diving into LLMs like ChatGPT. This is a three hour course, but it gives you an in-depth understanding of how a LLM works and how a LLM is built. So now let's jump into the applications of AI. So now you have understood about generative AI and LLM. So part three is where you learn about the applications of generative AI. So the first one is the agents course. So AI agents. So what is the AI agent? So this course teaches everything about AI agents. So it's by hugging face, uh, which teaches about what are AI agents, uh, what are different kinds of AI agents, what frameworks do AI agents use and much more with examples. So next is the vibe coding course with Replit by Deep Learning AI again. So vibe coding is nothing but it's a coding where you are able to build a software product just by chatting with the AI or just by giving plain English instructions without writing a single line of code. So this is also a very detailed course like where they tell about uh, building different apps. So planning and building a voting app. So you will build it without writing a single line of code using Replit. So that would be very interesting. And if you if you prefer textual content, you can you can read this blog by Lovable which talks about wipe coding. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've given all the links of this courses in the description as well as the first comment. Also do the courses in the same order so that you can learn about basics of AI, basics of generative AI and applications of generative AI. Once you are good with this, you are good to get started and start using AI in your day to day tasks, automate your work and even make it more efficient, right? All the best and have a nice day.